Okay, let's see if this works. <clears throat> okay. So I think I'm going to use my original. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Do one more test real fast. <clears throat> On my See if this works. Hello, hello. It's very quiet. I'm just I'm trying to see if my audio is <clears throat> functioning properly. Okay, so ah, uh, here we go. That's why my auxiliary is down. That's why. Ah, uh, here we go. That's why my auxiliary is down. That's why. Okay, <clears throat> now I can get back to it. Boy, oh boy. Let me keep my audio, <clears throat> desktop audio down a little bit. I'm not sure how loud that is. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back in Maya. Um, welcome again, this is Lord Asmore, trying to finish this. Uh, model off so um, here I did the skin um, for her and I uh, mirrored it over after retopoed it retopoed it um, and so this is the low poly as you can see it's pretty low poly so I'm pretty happy with it um, and then I just went and smoothed it with the, the shift right click soften and then soften edges so I went and smoothed it so now, um, let's go ahead and export this. Export all. <clears throat> College. Retopo. Skin. All right, <clears throat> so now I have the uh, the skin finished. So now I'm gonna go back into uh, ZBrush, and then imp and then export the uh, the clothes. So um, let's see how. So I'm going to do a new um, Okay, let's get ZBrush open And I'm going to get it out of Maya Save as 
girl. Okay, zero Z brush. Load. Girl two. I'll find a new playlist soon. Uh, I like just like this playlist a lot. It's fun. Okay. So So I have the skin done. Um And so I I now need to do the clothes. Uh, I can do the hat as well. So let's see here. Here's the hair. This is the hair and the hat. Let me bring this to look less hideous that way. <laughs> Here's the hat. I can go ahead and actually do the hat. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the hat. Um, and let's see, what else can I do? I'll do hat and then gloves. These are good to go. shorts so these kind of areas that I needed to get to basically <clears throat> so the clothes um, I might do Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the um, the glasses or the goggles. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, just, I'm gonna go and do, just do the hair for now. So solo the the hair. Um, I'll do the hat with it. So we turn off this. Turn off. Yeah, so just this part. <clears throat> so Well, I can just do it single poly, uh, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so um, <clears throat> we have the shorts, and uh, I'm 
going to do... I'm not a fan of that song. It's kind of repetitive. <laughs> Meow. Okay. It's not like you're dying. I have a very sad cat. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna work with this for now. So. Let's see. Merge down. I think split a nest. So I'm gonna do these separately because it's transparent. And I'm just gonna do all this stuff for right now. Um, in fact, I might need to do the hair separately. So I think I might just do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the hair for right now. Export here. And I only didn't finish off the top of the hair because you'll never see it because it'll be under the hat. Try something. Oh, I need to duplicate it anyway because there's like three million polygons. So <clears throat> Z remash. Alright, so these are all still separate pieces, and so what I'm going to do now is just Dynamesh. So now they're all separate, but they're, um, so I'm going to get them all one polygroup. I masked it off and pressed um, Control w So now it's much, much less. And so let's try to Z remesh it again. Let's 
be right back. Okay. I'm just going to keep on zero meshing the hair down because I feel like this kind of hair is going to be quite difficult to, um, like I can do it, keep the shape and make it look good. So let me just try to keep on zero meshing the hair. see what we can come up with. Because some of these processes we can definitely streamline. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm basically trying to keep the general shape, but it's okay if... I'm not sure why that keeps on doing that. Oh, because it's separate from the other pieces. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep this general shape. Okay. So this obviously isn't a read topo right here, but it might work for what we're trying to do. Let's see. Yeah, I think that will be just fine. So now I just need to UV the hair. So now I have the hat, the hair,
tongue duplicate. I can just easily do this tongue, but let's see what we can get from this. So it's not doing any more. Yeah, it's not going down anymore. So let's see here. Hmm. Turned off adapt. There we go. Okay, so turn off the adapt and that's looking pretty good. So I have low poly tongue. down so low so I made a one one subgroup on poly group um, let's see what we can do here First off, I'm going to Dynamesh it. Not that, not that low resolution. Here we go. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the adapt again. up a tad bit. So I need to make sure that I form it as close as I can to the original. So when it bakes, it'll look a little more proper. Okay. Neato. Okay, cool. So now that I have this,
This part's already fine. Just need to bring it into Maya, I think, and smooth it out. <laughs> okay, so I have the low polys here, so far. Um, I can bring in the low poly skin as well. Okay, and then import skin. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. Cool. Once I have everything, I'll go ahead and UV all the stuff. Once I have everything, I need to, to do so. Yeah, not looking too bad so far. I need to go ahead and do the clothes now. <clears throat> so the hat is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use the hat that I already have. So, um, what do we have in this layer? So the shirt, um, the shirt I can't add there now because I'm not gonna do the hair anymore. So merge down. Okay, so pretty much everything but the hat. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me turn off the take off the hat. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change the widget with Y. Drag out, and that should be the only thing that's masked. And then split. There we go. Hooray! Okay. So yeah, just the clothes and uh top piece so hmm. so let's do it <clears throat> I think the metal Actually, I don't think I'll have the metal on a different one, too. Wonder if I should. <clears throat> so 
See, if I was doing the uh, Substance Painter route, I would be fine, because I could just use a uh, Painter to... Hmm. You know, I'm just going to do it. It'd be fine. So, yeah, because I'm not doing a Substance Painter this time. Export. Yeah, painter. I could I could bring in the metalness. I could bring in, you know, the different different things um, that I'm just not gonna mess with this time. Uh, like roughness and metalness and everything. Yeah. Alright, so let's bring this into 3D coat. Let's get it going. Oh, before that, actually, I'm going to duplicate this. And then with this, I'm going to make all one. And then I'm going to make this small. I don't want to have any problems again, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and decimate this because it's only for the topo. So go to the decimation master, preprocess pre -process current. It'll process this one and then I can decimate it and bring this one so that way it's not destroying or bogging down my computer every time I want to rotate. That just gets really annoying. Okay, it might just take a second. Okay. Come on. Dun 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 Come on Once it's finished, I can go to 3D coat and retop everything. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, let me go ahead and decimate current. Remember, all you're really doing is um, you just need a, a base to work off of so you can retopo. All right, that looks fine. So let me go ahead and export. Export as scroll clothes. Sweet. All right, so time to retopo. Girl clothes. Looking forward to Fanex. It's gonna be fun. I like going to conventions. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we are. Okay. Okay, so now we can work with um, what we got. So we got this, um, the clothes and the base. All right, so this should be fun. Um, so one thing to know is that um, the only thing symmetric in this is like the glove. Um, the this is close to being symmetric. This is very similar. So it might even be symmetric enough for me to um, go ahead and do symmetry with it. Um, the shirt isn't necessarily symmetric, um, but it's also very close. So you can bake it with symmetry, but you have to make sure you mirror it before you start UVing. Otherwise, we'll both, have, both sides will have the same UVs and it'll bake uh, uh, symmetrically. So um, where do we start? So I'm going to start with the boots and uh, this part will be symmetric so I'm gonna turn on symmetry for now enable symmetry x-axis okay all right let's get started so one problem is I can't use strokes because um, it has an inside is hollow I should have uh, made it solid but I didn't um, so that's that's one downside to this is gonna is it's not uh yeah, they're all these pieces are all hollow. Um let me see what let's just make sure because strokes would be great if I could use strokes, but I don't know if I can. Enter Okay, I didn't like any of that. Oh there it goes. Enter. Okay, that actually that actually worked fine nicely. Okay, so I will use strokes. Let's just see if it continues to work like that. I just want something to base it off of. To kind of have a nice little starting point. I don't want to use this for everything. Enter, and I have a nice solid uh, beginning for this this part. And then this I can just move. Um, yeah, that'll just save some time. This I'll, go, I'll just move when I when I need to. So um, I'm gonna just make with all the symmetry, and then I'll move it accordingly in ZBrush uh, how I need to. Some things you shouldn't do symmetrically because there's just certain information that are just way off on one side than the other side. But this is not one of those times.
Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do hmm, I'm just going to do straight It'll all show off in the normal map Enter. Make sure that it's not on the inside. You don't want any geometry on the inside. Okay, cool. Um, now I'm going to use the brush tool. I don't want it up here. This is a 3D coat for people that are just joining the stream. smooth this out so nice love that tool okay I'm gonna add a split ring a little more more poly stuff going on here. It'll even out a little better. There we go. Okay, so uh, by the end of today, I will be trying to uh, bake the textures on this character uh, using Marmoset Toolbag 3. And then I will be uh, posing her as well. That's the plan for today. So let's see how far we can get. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the stream, guys. Just doing some retopology today. Uh, well, for right now, anyway. I'm using a symmetry, even though um, both sides are not symmetric. But I'm using symmetry for now, and they can adjust it a little bit later. I'll adjust it in ZBrush. Okay. Okay, and so now I'm going to go straight up with this and then start making the uh, main row, All right? Mm. 
I'll make this separate geometry. Just kind of give it a little bit extra oomph to this area. Brush tool, kind of clean that up a little bit. Add some music to the scene. So I went from ZBrush to 3D Coat. Now I'm making some booty. Go ahead and just go from the back to the front. I'm going to end that quad off, the quad row. You want to reduce your triangle count as much as possible, but having triangles is not the end of the world. You're going to end up um, triangulating anyway for. Um, the game model sometimes when you add triangles it goofs a little bit but it's it'll be okay Kind of just adding a little bit extra oomph to these areas that have the um, the belt zones. We'll add one more triangle there. That'll be okay. Okay. Looking forward to showing you guys UVing in 3D Code. It's actually badass. UVing in 3D Code is like the easiest thing I've ever done. I don't think I'll ever UV in Maya again. I um I do optimize my UVs in Maya because I understand the tools for optimization better there. I'm still fairly new with 3D Code, but 3D Code for the most part has been very easy um, software to understand and to kind of learn. But, um, yeah, 
But for UVing process itself, it's just a dream. Mm, I don't like that. I try to have fewer numbers of tries. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm Lord Asmore. Thanks for joining. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I should be um, UVing here shortly. I'm thinking probably the next half an hour to an hour I'll be in the UVing stage. Um, so if you're wanting to see that, then that will be the time frame to check it out. Like streaming this is fun it's kind of like just where you can just be a goofball and stuff that was an odd thing that just happened cool all right well we have a retoppled shorts uh, that butt though uh, let me delete polys I have something going on with this one so let's redo that. Hooray. Okay, cool. Alright, and bring this down. I'm gonna do oh wait, I still have the bottom. That's right. I'm gonna do um Excuse me, one um, lip layer to kind of show depth. Um, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let's show some depth. Oh, actually, let me try something. Let me bring a um, split ring. This might be a faster way. Bam. Split ring, I added an extra. I actually kind of need a split ring for that one. So, um, and then let me try to use a brush to just bring it up and stuff. This might be a little bit faster. Perhaps. Maybe I'm fooling myself. <clears throat> but I think it's working. I actually don't know what will be faster. It might have been just faster to do it normally. Hmm, well, well.
Yeah, this is fine. Probably in the same speed to just add geometry. Okay, this geometry is trying to hide. Not really sure why. That's an easy fix, though. I'm just going to bring it back and... Let's see. Alright, so let's start on the shorts. The shorts bottoms, anyway. So, I'll show you a quick method as well. So... So fast method um, for just getting some more geometry down. See, so it's not on the same plane as you can see. It's like extruded up. And it looks really funny, but we'll add we'll add something to fix that, and I'll show you how. It's really not wanting to work with me right now, though, which is weird. So this is which one way, you don't have to do it like three times and going around three times. This is just a faster method I'm going to show you. There's no point in just doing this so many times. It's silly. You really want to optimize your time when you're doing this kind of stuff. As much as possible. So out, out, in. Sometimes I feel like people just hire artists because they don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> They're like, bro, I might could do what you do, but like, it takes for freaking ever. Kind of like mowing grass, you know, like, everyone can do it, but sometimes it's like, <laughs> someone else should do this shit. It's boring as hell. But it needs to be done, and it looks good when it's finished, so, you know, there's that. So just being slow and steady is the right way to do things. Cool, alright, well, check that out. So, it looks like complete and utter crap right now, and I'll show you how to fix it. So, let's bring in a split rings. Right next to where it's going to be extruding more, then BAM! Oh, look at that, it looks like something. And then bam again, and then oh look look at that you have you have topology and it looks cool. All right, there's a few things you can uh, adjust, like for instance this section. So I'm actually going to bring it lower than it might want to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. And on these areas, I can just manually extrude it in like ZBrush and stuff. 
to make it look a little more popped out. Like I'll fix the back belt loop here and then I'll fix um, these areas. So you just use the move tool and like pull it out and stuff and that'll be an easy way to fix that. Alright, so now we're just going to add that um, bottom, bottom layer. You can get a better view like this where you don't have to like change your angle all the time. That's going to help your speed for sure. Get an actual. As long as you can see your verts. Oop. Like that would be, this is a better angle. Like I can actually see like the edge verts and stuff. It's just kind of wigging out on me a little bit. Probably because it's hollow. I don't suggest doing hollow. Um, so if you can, fix that in ZBrush or whatever software you use before you make the retopo. I guess I didn't really care, but it is just a little bit easier if it's hollow. Bam. Okay, so the bottom is done. Um, cool. Uh, for areas like these pockets, you can you can add um, um, more edge work if you want to. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So add split. Make sure that your draw size is smaller. And then starts about right here. So and like bam, bam. Just gonna follow this edge. So you end it, you double, you double click. That looks fine. Okay, and then if you want to add the down as well, you can. So it just has a little bit of shape here. Uh, let me just keep it going. I, think I just need to have a smaller draw size. So it doesn't like try to auto prefer to see it. So now, oops, oh, I'm in the shoe, I think, or the, I'm in the glove. Um, so now that can't be there because it's not a quad. That'd be an in-gun. So let's end this in-gun. Bam, just like that. Okay, cool. So now you have a little bit of extra, you know, topology where that, that uh, pocket area is, so it looks a little better. Let's fix that a little more. All right, so um, let's get on the shirt. This shirt is just not symmetric. Um, like it is in certain areas, but like these areas are obviously not symmetric. So I think... Turn off symmetry and it's okay, because I'm going to duplicate this. Um, for this guy, I can actually... Cause that was that was pretty similar. 
You know, I think I'm I'm gonna keep symmetry on, and then yeah, I'm gonna just gonna move it like I'm gonna do it with the shorts and everything. I'm just gonna, cause see, it's not it's not evening out here, and that should be okay, cause it's very similar, like the same size on both sides, hey, uh, same size and just some wrinkle differences and stuff, and some some wave differences in the bottom, but that'll be okay. I can adjust that in in, in ZBrush. So let's just go ahead and just do one side for now, and then and then we'll fix that uh, in ZBrush. So it's just going to make life easier. We want to, again, we're thinking about time. Time is of the essence. You don't want to spend all your time retopologizing. You want to make characters and stuff like that. You don't waste your time. Things like shirts, like cloth type things, <clears throat> uh, you don't really need. Like the, the the shorts, I wanted to have a little extra oomph, like it had some like uh, depth to it. Shirts, I don't care, um, unless it's like a big cotton shirt or like a, a leather jacket or something where you need a little more like um, I don't know, I, I guess just soft space or something, um, cushion space kind of thing. Um, yeah, shirts can just be one plane, right? So, like, one, uh, main thing, you don't need depth to it. Um, and you can just, uh, double, double-side it, so where it'll, it'll, uh, perceive like it has a backing and stuff, instead of being it see-through in, in the inside. Um, things like armor, you do need an edge to it, of course, to show thickness. That's a dumb glitch. So I'm going to keep on. Let's go ahead and make this main main zone. I want to define your perimeters. That's a big thing I've noticed about retopoing and stuff, is you're defining your perimeters. Like this. Right, I'm defining my, my edges first. I have I get the meat of it, of course, like the, the body right there. But I wanted to find my edges so I'm not um, doing way too much. Um, and then I'm also just kind of getting that base. I want I want my topology to kind of like fit the shape and kind of flow with the uh, model. I don't want um, topology that's going to be flat and boring. Um, even though it doesn't really matter too much on on too many things, it does look better on the bake if it's kind of flowing better. Um, and you'll be able to see that later on if you're still tuned to what I'm doing and stuff. So, hope everyone's doing well. It's going to be a long day, a long streaming session. <laughs> and uh, this armor is not getting any lighter. <laughs> oh, big stretch. Okay, let's keep it going. Quads. So you want to reduce your triangle count, but it's okay if you have them. I keep on saying that, but I, it's just true. <laughs> like, oh my god, you got a triangle. Uh, cool. What's wrong with that? I don't know. People told me that's not good. Okay. Okay, boobs. So boobs are similar to eyes. Right, you want to follow the shape where it's going to look super square and boring and weird. So, let's make sure we do it right. So, let's make these boobs the correct way. 
So just like I was talking about with the, you want to fill the shape in, right, your perimeters. And, and chest goes into shoulder, right? So I'm going to go ahead and define the shoulder. That's going to need an extra... that so see I'm just defining my parameters my perimeters, not parameters. I'm going to just follow the shape of the arm. Okay, cool. So now that I have um, that that base, that flow, right? A flow of the chest now I can fill in everything else so now it'll, it'll look better once I bake All right okay You want to add extra edges around um, <clears throat> around like the uh, animated parts. This is one of the animated parts is the underarm area, the underarm to shoulder area, this zone. So you want to add extra edge loops around that zone. Let me make this be bigger. I keep on forgetting to revamp my music. It like shirts off and I'm like, oh yeah, music. I get it's just two in the zone. I normally listen to audiobooks, but um unfortunately I can't because it's copyrighted, I'm streaming and it won't it won't look good or it won't it'll it'll be taken down basically because I have a YouTube channel too that I bring these to. So I'm gonna save all these videos on YouTube. If anyone wants to look back at them since streaming it will go away after a short time. So I, I use YouTube as like my library of what I'm doing now. And that's just Lord Asmore if you're interested in looking it up. Yeah, no, I don't think it's Lord Asmore art, it's just Lord Asmore. So I'm just going to follow the perimeter. And everything just starts flowing. You start canceling out a few of them because I have too much, too much on too few. Actually, this is going, I'm going to go ahead and delete. And then just make this a row because it's begging to be a row. Okay. 
There we go. I'm gonna do just soft smooth. So just kind of pressing. I'm not like moving, I'm just pressing. And then that way it'll kind of form to the mesh a little bit better. And then even itself out. Just soft smoothing. I don't need so much topology on the bottom, so I'm going to have that even out a little bit. The symmetry line does not move when you smooth. So you have to manually move that symmetry line. It's easy though. Also, uh, edges, true edges don't move either. So you have to move them manually as well. Okay, it's looking good so far. Let me get some more music going on for you guys. Can you guys hear the music? I don't know if it's even loud enough. I hope it is. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to flow with the back. I don't need any tries here. So I'm going to reduce my tries. Split ring. One, two, three. Wow, that one's like completely hidden. I do my Z bias up. Z bias is what just shows you your topology a little bit better. Man, it was not enjoying that last one. I'm going to go ahead and delete these polys. Let me redo these. That's odd. I'm not really sure why I did that. Let's 
it's like kind of diving in that one. I know I have some wrinkles in that area, so that might be part of it. I might have to just manually work with this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that to be to be doing that. So brush. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. triangles. It's just going to be three triangles back to back. I'm not a fan. I think I'm just going to um, flow with the, a perimeter like I've been showing you guys. So we, especially in the shoulder area you really don't want triangles. That's the biggest part about it. It's just that yeah, the deformation areas you don't want that many triangles. Slip my hand. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add one more. Awesome. <sighs> Alright, see? So I got rid of a lot of those triangles. I only have like one right there. They really don't care about having that one, but um, one's way better than having like four. Especially in areas of animation. <clears throat> like if I'm gonna have them, I'd rather have them like up here and this stuff like that, because it just is not gonna be animated. Like, this is fine. It's not going to be a big deal. And the brush. There we go. Kind of do a smooth. It all looks nice. I'm just going to add <clears throat> some and get rid of some of these. I might as well because I just don't want that many triangles. 
like near the shoulder zone. So let's go ahead and delete this poly. I'll do another smooth. Should look pretty good. There we go. That looks way better. Way cleaner. I'm even going to do it here too. I really just don't want it through here. So, bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> finish off these sleeves and this, the shirt will be finished. Give me a swig of my go juice. There we go. Let's keep it going. There we go, just kind of even that out there. Make it look nice and dandy. So with this, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Bottom of the shorts, where you just kind of go to the end. Knowing that you're just going to be adding um, loops, right? Looks weird for a second until you add the loops. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this, add the uh, split ring. Formation loops. Always, always good. sure how that happened but that's okay let's work what we got
It's not too bad for that at least. I'll add one try at the end of the sleeves away from the uh, underarm zone. Smooth over. That was good. Alright, I'm gonna do the boots now. Well, first off, I'm gonna save out because it's awful if I lost all this. So, girl, clothes. Yeah, it would actually be pretty livid if I lost all this. <laughs> it's because uh, I'd be doing so many other things with um, this character. All right, strokes again. <clears throat> so I'm going to follow this perimeter. It's a little bit uh, skewed. That's perfect. There we go. And then for the heels. So I'm, just, I'm not trying to do everything with this, I'm just trying to get a nice base down, kind of, you know, start running, you know, or however that saying goes. Feet on the ground running, or something like that. I'm kind of fall in the shape of the shoe. It's inevitably where the UVs are going to go. for those. They'll creep up on you and you'll have some weird topology.
So that probably saved me like half an hour. So let me press enter. Not half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. About 20 minutes saved. Unless it does that, and that's probably because, yeah, okay, so that's why. That's why I'm messing up last time, because it's, it's too thin, right? It, it It's hollow, and it's too thin. And so it's being all weird, thinking that these are all separate islands. thinking And then, like, it's accepting half of the, these edges and half of these edges. So, my bad, guys. That was kind of a waste of time, actually. So, let me see. Yeah, I think it all did that, yeah. That's refreshing, because it did it early to me today as well. But that's because it's not... Uh, it's not, it's hollow, right? So it's it's messing up and it's too thin. Uh, okay, so that's okay. I'll just do it normally. So with shoes, when I'm when I'm doing shoes normally, I start from the base. Um, so again, you're getting the flow. So let me start. So, okay. <clears throat> so, all right, cool. Let me start working. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to add the, the strokes. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually delete this last one. And then add, uh, well, not strokes, sorry, the um, split ring. So one, two. You really don't need extra topology on the bottom, but just looks a little more professional. Um, okay. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna like just optimize my topology and do this. I'm just gonna go around. This one's gonna go around this way. It's going to go up the heel. I'm going to move this. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is gonna slid off a little bit on me. There we go. <clears throat> One and then two. Oh, yeah, sometimes it does that. So you can zoom in a little closer so you can I see what I'm doing with this last one. Or something's gonna. Okay, here we go. All right, and so from this, now we need to add um, those those loops again. So this would just be the split rings, and it automatically averages it out. See how it kind of goes that straight, and that's at an angle. So let's go ahead and one. Two, three, and I'm going to use the brush tool to smooth it. Not that much. I'm gonna keep that actually. That oh, looks looks better. Um, this one is there. We go. I just need to slide it to the actual edge, and it look, looks a little better. When I smoothed it, it, it um, moved the edges because um, it has connecting topology now, so it just kind of slid down the heel a little bit, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'm just fixing it up a little bit now.
Okay, that should be fine. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, looking for some music that I can play. <laughs> Let's see. now um, yeah so, got this heel going okay so the lip is a bit off there we go All right, then. That was weird. Retopoing can be a pain in the butt. Just monotonous of everything. Good needs to be done, it's just monotonous. So I'm glad they have easy tools to do it now, and like this. I can't even imagine how it was when they first started having tools that retopologized, or just making a girl of um, this quality, or I should say, like um, this much detail, I guess, uh, in, back in the day. Let's see. 
just with using like Maya or something. It's like a pain in the ass. Okay. So, use the brush tool. Let's see how this would react if I did display rings. Mm, pretty good. Cool. That's nice. Okay. So I'm just going to follow the perimeter. And then this is probably the part where I would um, do a straight. Oh, the so sad cat. The big meows. Go ahead and end that one off. And then keep this going. You don't really deform the tip of the toe. Um, however, we will be um, deforming the middle of the foot. If this was going to be animated, you would have like the middle right here would be um, creased and everything. So you don't have a lot of triangle tries there. Redico is the easiest the top row, or would you recommend another software? Um, I think it is the easiest for Topo, in my opinion. Um, I, I really enjoy it. <clears throat> I, I love the brush tool. Like, so for instance, like, uh, and I don't know about Topo Gun. Uh, I know a lot of people use it, I just don't know much about it. So, um, but I, from my experience, between Maya and 3D Coat, 3D Coat wins by a, a landslide. Um, but uh, I really enjoy how I can just put down really crap topology, you know, and then I can just like this, right? And then like, you know. Something like some crap like that, and then I can just be like, well, you know, that looks like crap. So then I'm just gonna use the brush tool, make it bigger, and then look at that. That to me is awesome because you can just slap something down really fast, and um, and just fix it up within seconds, right? So that's it's a big a big uh, reason for me. I, I just really enjoy how flexible it feels. Um, Topo Gun also doesn't seem to be able to handle as many polygons, which I've um, heard is a problem. So you really have to decimate like hardcore. This can handle up to four four million polygons uh, normally. So um, so I, I really like that. Just its functionality and ability. It's nice.
But I'm sure Topo Gun is close, right? But I also UV in this, so it makes it more worth it for me to buy this software. And then um, I'll be doing uh, texturing as well on the paint side. Um, I'll be texturing uh, hand-painted stuff in here as well. And then if I do PBR stuff, it's going to be in substance. But um, you can do PBR in here. It's just um, not as intuitive a substance. But so for albedo painting for UVs, retopo, I love using 3D coat. So now this side's gonna start gonna go going up and stuff. Awesome, man. I hope that that helped you. Um, I I just think it's honestly the the easiest in my opinion. I, I really do like it. I hope it um I hope it does well for you as well, and I'll have. I'll be streaming probably from now on. I, I'm actually really enjoying streaming. Um, so, um, and I'll be posting it on uh, YouTube. So everything I stream, I'll be posting on my YouTube channel and um, the Lord Asmore channel. Uh, <laughs> and um, you can look back and, and see what I kind of what I do and stuff. If you have any questions about, um, um, I don't know, any, any of the uh, functionality or. Uh, setting up let me know um, even just I, I always use ZBrush like on the camera like camera navigation ZBrush like so that really kind of rotates around the images or the uh, models really nicely um, and I, I just love ZBrush uh, navigation so I like using that the most so sometimes it'll be a little bit buggy like that, or it'll be like a little bit strange, but for the most part, it's really awesome. So I'll go ahead and have a try there. Okay. So um, I'm going to finish up this. Um, Let's just do a quick strokes because that'll just help me out a little, little bit. We need to finish this up. So I'm going to do a um, strokes. This is also another, um, just a, f a fun method if you weren't watching earlier. I use, I use strokes pretty often. That should be good. Now I'm going to just follow along with the current topology. So I already have topology down. <clears throat> to trace. Okay, and then uh, let's see how busy it is on here. So I need a decent amount of polys. But I'll triangle some of them out on the no non-deform areas. So uh, that looks fine. Okay, so then you just press enter. 
Oh my goodness. That's right. I just forgot from earlier that because it's hollow, it's connecting to some of the uh, inside ones, and that's just not going to work. So that's okay. That's a normal method I use, and, I, and I'll show it later in a, a different part of the body, but it's not working in my shoes, and that's unfortunate. Um, normally, I would accept it, and it'd look awesome. <laughs> So um, at this point, we're still we needed to um, go around with a form, but I want to stop going with the toe form and start going with the um, shape of if here. So that actually has good topology for deformation. Uh, I keep on saying that, but it's just true. I add an extra loop right here, so it'll deform better around the mid uh, midfoot. So we're gonna just cater to this, and then that's gonna end up. Uh, being a half circle kind of thing, kind of like how you'd see a, a, a converse shoe would have that toe area similar to that ideal. Okay. You should tell the um, 3D coat guys that Lord Asmore sent you. <laughs> Who the heck is that? That's not like a weirdo. What's an Asmore? Or a s'more? There's a lot more tries than I want to have. These areas get a bit tricky. I'm going to try my best to reduce my try count. <laughs> try my best. I'm going to use a smooth brush anyway, so that's going to be all right. Hmm. Screw it. I'm going to just...
Okay. I'm going to go and define how much I'm going to have. So come on. So I'm going to just end it here and then add a little bit of depth as it's a uh, shoe or boot type. Also, you're gonna be able to see inside this boot, so we're gonna add a little bit more topology on the inside. Gonna have like that far in. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need to do it that way. You're going to be able to see it on, on both ends, but the thing is you're going to be able to see inside this boot, and I want there to be depth in the of the boot, so it's the only way to have like a false impression of depth. for this kind of type of thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save out again. Save as. Girl clothes. Remember, it's okay if it looks weird or bad at first because can just move it and that's awesome
Right. Let's see. I think that looks all right. There we go. Just trying to avoid triangles as much as possible. It's a bit goofy, but let's fix that up. Okay.
Let's bring it over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some inner quads. Just I'm gonna do like three rows, and that'll be it. Actually, delete, 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 delete. Let's go ahead and There we go. And now let's make the inside very easily with that same method I talked about before. All tube areas you can do this in is pretty nifty. Okay, cool. So now you have the inside, the outside. You don't really need extra topology, but I will go ahead and do split rings, one and two. That's it. Cool. That took me way longer than it would have if the um, strokes would have worked. So what else do we need to do? Um, Okay, so we have the goggles with, um, okay, that will be, that should be pretty easy. Um, the goggles and we have the gloves. Goggles are solid, so I might be able to do strokes with the goggles. Let's try that, because I like doing strokes. Thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking. Just gonna chill and wait. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sometimes that happens, it'll just think it did way more than it should have. I'm going to go ahead and save just in case it decides to goof up again. I'm actually concerned that the strokes are going to be um, problematic. So I'm just going to do it manually. But the, the good thing is that this is a very easy um, manual piece. Oops. I said, I say that, I goof up on the first poly. I only add this first poly because the quads can't start um, an island. I don't know why, but they just don't start islands. So once you put out your first poly, you can start working from that. <clears throat> the reason why I didn't retopo the hair um, is because I just kind of like uh, Z remeshed. It's because hair doesn't really have a rhyme or reason sometimes, uh, especially on like stylized 
types. And so, um, so there's no point in having like an edge flow when you could just could use the current edge flow off the high poly, you know, like why, why make it more difficult and spend so much time on hair when you could just make the smaller version and UV that. So that's what I did that for. Okay, that's not being happy. Okay. <clears throat> so that should be that should be fine. Actually, didn't even need to make the inside because you're not going to be able to see that. So, actually, Okay, so I finished that strap. Now I'm going to. I'm actually going to delete these inner polys. I don't need them. No point in having polys you're never going to see. Okay. Same thing with this mask. I'm not going to do the in inside polys. All right. So from here, let's start making the mask. Speaking of which. This is a static object that will never flex or move, even if it was to be like animated or something. So you don't need to have 
specific amount of polygons in certain areas. You just need to shape it, right? So. Certain parts you're not going to see pass as well, so I'm only doing like three-fourths of it. So that, that part goes into the hat. <clears throat> okay. No, I'll stay on quads. Come on. Inch up my nose. Cool, well, that's done. So the last thing we have to do is the gloves and we are golden. <clears throat> Which is good too because I have like, let's see, uh, seven hours left before um, I would like to have this done by midnight. That's the goal. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I do need to get some food here soon, though. I've only had like breakfast. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> what am I doing with myself? So I'm going to, um, with this kind of thing on the glove, I'm going to do the extrusion inside. Uh, however, I'm going to do that in Maya because it's way faster in Maya. So there's certain things that I will use Maya for, but it's very infrequent. Just certain things that are faster that I've noticed. I'll just like grab all the edges from the edge loop and then extrude them in so it'll create depth. I would have done that with the boots too, but the boots needed to go down, and I, I could have done that in Maya pretty fast too, but yeah, it's whatever. So again, I'm just making the perimeter edge work. That was the right one. Okay.
Number two barriers, you want to just save on time, so just go ahead and do this silliness. Okay, so split rings. Buy them. Okay. Now, hmm. I wanted to find the tubes. I wish I could, really wish I could do strokes right now. That would be so helpful. So now I'm just going to um, go ahead and go up the glove. So I need to find this shape, right? You have the you have your thumb, similar to the boob, I guess, right? You want to define the perimeter of the shapes, these main shape things. So let's do that. Okay. Good stuff. Use the brush. I'm not sure why I was doing that. Come on. Okay. Quads again. Let's end out some of these. Let's see if we can avoid triangles as much as possible. Yeah, perfect. <clears throat> cool. Now I'll do a quick smooth. So now we're going to start defining a new area. For the, the hand.
So now I'm going to start defining the wrist shape and the uh, palm shape. Kind of that shift in where you're bringing your topology, basically. That's the reason why that's important, is just knowing when to shift, right? So yeah, by the end of the stream, I'll have hopefully, uh, well, at least today anyway, I'm planning on streaming again, probably. I need a break here shortly for, for dinner. But um, planning on text, uh, making all the making all the textures I need to bake and then um, in Marmoset and then posing, um, doing like a final pose for her. So that's where I'm hoping to get to get to. Okay, now I'm going to define the glove edge. So I know there's going to be one right here. I don't think that it actually snapped to the corner. So I have one triangle to compensate for that shift. Or at least to adapt the shift, I mean. Okay, so. Let's make it a little easier on ourselves and do a more low poly than as much as I want to add. So now that's going to be following this still. Stretch. Okay, after I'm done uh, finishing off these gloves, I'm going to um, take a quick break for dinner and then come back and start UVing everything.
Okay. So now I'm going to do the fingers and so I'm gonna start again with the add. Do that with each of the fingers. You see each island has its own color. It's kind of funny. All right. Now that those first quads are defined on each finger, I can start using the actual quad tool and go at it. So for fingers, um, I like to do six to eight around. So I'm currently at three, four, kind of zoom in a little bit. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight. That's what I. That's what I figured that I'd go with. That just looks right um, for the project. I really wish I could do strokes in this. It'd be so much faster. I never do it this way. Not after I found out strokes and stuff. It just ugh. I should have just exported this as a solid and <laughs> two, three, four. Making it wider, but I'm also going to use the smooth brush. So it won't look like crap. Mm. No, I'll just move it manually. It's just very few polys. Just gonna average them out. Okay. Cool. Five, six, so two more. <clears throat>
Okay, eight. There we go. One more. Fingers are tedious. Or hands, really, and just in general, are tedious, but fingers especially. Sweet. Okay, so these fingers. Okay, so the two inner polys they do this. Now I bring these in. And then I make a odd box for this part. And this is kind of where it's a bit strange. Oh, I need to bring these down. Okay. Split rings. Okay. So, so now I do an odd box on these uh, kind of knuckle type areas. Oh, this was odd too when I learned about it. So, but now you can follow the um, the lines a lot better. Um, so that's the reason why you do it is so you can follow the topology better, and it's better for animated animation as well.
Okay, so let's kind of um, let's do that with the other ones too. Kind of like this, this half. Oops, that one, that one. So it would be this one. I actually need to adjust that then. So let's bring this in closer. Okay. There we go. That is what I was looking for. Okay. So now, yeah, now I can add those the odd box. Oh, the sad kitty. Oh no, the sad kitty cat. Wow. <laughs> this is my roommate's uh, cat. Well, cat, but poor kitty cat. They're gone all the day, and so he's all alone. He makes the world know it. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing with this one. When I add that odd box. So I'm actually going to delete this.
Okay. Almost done. Almost done. I'm just getting hungry, y'all. <laughs> I also really want to finish this, so. Okay, last uh, odd box. There we go. Bring up the brush tool pretty nicely and just smooth that sucker out. While I'm doing the last smooth, I'm also looking for any problems, any ingons. Uh, any holes when I smooth over it, it might like hole have a gap, and those are things you want to look at, look for, and stuff while you're doing the la the final smooth. And the fingers I just touch because they don't they don't want to be uh, too messy or to change them too much. I have them the way I want them for the most part. Awesome. Well, guys, we're finished with uh, the retopology stage. Um, that's all the pieces that I plan on doing. And um, I'm going to go ahead and save this out. So save as. Girls close. And um, I'm going to go ahead and export. Export retopo object. Um, girls close. Mm. Yep, that's the one I want to do, yeah. Girls close. Okay. OBJ. Alright, cool. So yeah, you have the um the clothes, right? The the shoes, the shorts, the gloves, 
um, top head area and shirt. Um, I will adjust some of the things. I'm going to go uh, take a break, but I'm going to go in Maya uh, and mirror everything over because when you turn off symmetry, um, everything is just halved. So you need to go in Maya and mirror it over, and then we'll adjust it in 3D coat. Or, sorry, not 3D coat, uh, ZBrush to match the um, the shape of the, the high poly. UV it, and then go ahead and, and bake the sucker. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Lord Asmore out. Peace.